the day the Lord slept. Psalm 121 verse 4 says, Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. If he that keepeth Israel doesn't sleep nor slumber, so what was Jesus doing in the boat and a great windstorm arose, and the waves were breaking into the boat, so that the boat was already filling. But he was in the stern, asleep on the cushion. And they woke him and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? And he awoke and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Peace. Be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. Mark chapter 4 verse 37 to 39, a storm that scared seasoned fishermen, must be an outstanding enormous storm. After Jesus just used the sea as a platform to preach to the multitude, the devil decided to use the wind and same sea to destroy Christ. Though Jesus is fully human and fully divine, Jesus sleeps amid the chaos in the realization that anyone whose life is lying with the Creator cannot live in fear, that's why he spoke to his disciples not to fear. He rebuked the source of the troubled wind which you can't see, but to the sea which we can see which moved violently, he spoke peace be still, when the wind stopped, the storm and sea became calm. So as the Lord slept in the midst of the storm, we should trust him to rebuke the wind and calm the storm for us in his name.